Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate MailChimp into your WordPress website using both the embedded form as well as with the MailChimp for WordPress plugin. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first we have a standard just WordPress install here. So make sure you also have a MailChimp account. So in your MailChimp, in your MailChimp account, what you want to do first is create an audience here if you don't already have an audience so in your audience dashboard. So I already have an audience here. Okay, and then once you're here, what you want to do is create a sign up form. So this will create a newsletter sign up. And then this is what we're going to embed into our WordPress site. So what you want to do is here and go to get started. Okay, and then we'll just create an embedded form here. Okay, so we'll just name this website form. And then just pick your audience and then begin. Okay, and then over here you can gather the information with what you want to add to the form. So say you want to add first name or say a phone number. So if you want to add their first name, so having their first name is good for email campaigns. And then you can just switch the labels here as you're able to personalize the email. So when you're making a promotion, you can say, hi, Bob, instead of just hi, right? Because you have their name field. So that helps with conversions as it makes it more personable. Okay, so this looks good. And then you can go here into settings. So this is just in terms of the width. And then the title here, so let's say, subscribe to our newsletter. And if you're not gonna do any custom CSS, then you don't need to check mark this. But if you do, then it'll just make it a standard form. And then you, you can just create a custom CSS if you're savvy with HTML and CSS. But we can just use their templated CSS here. Okay, and then you can add some tags here. So if any contacts come from this form, then I'll, that customer will be tagged. Let's say website sign up. So this will segment any users from this form as web website sign up, which could be good if you're running like a e-commerce store. Uh, if they're familiar with your website, then that's something that you can target them specifically. Okay, and then we can just skip the referral badge here. Okay, and then we can click continue. Okay, awesome. So now we have our embedded form here, which you can just add to say the footer or any page. So we can just copy this code here and let's, okay. And then let's go into edit site. Okay, then down here we can add a new element. So just here at the bottom, what we can do is HTML. So we just use this custom HTML element. Okay, and then we can remove the short code here. Okay. Okay, so they made two, so just remove one of them. Okay, and down here, the custom HTML, we can paste our form and then we'll just move it up above the footer here. Okay, and then it'll be right above, right below the section, join 100, join 900 plus subscribers. So you can just give some more context about your newsletter and what's it gonna be about. Okay, we'll click save. And then we can view the website. Okay, and then if I scroll down to the bottom here. Awesome, so now our form is stated here. So let me just put in an email. So say Sean MailChimp. Okay, and then subscribe. Awesome, so this is working. And then if we check back on our audience, so we go back here into edit. Okay, continue, go to all forms. Go here into your audiences. Nope, so that's automation. So go here into audience and then audience dashboard. And then view contacts. And we see over here, the first one that came up, so 
this email was added to our list and then okay and then if we view our con new contact here it says added via embedded form okay and then you can send email campaigns to the list connect collected from your newsletter sign up form and yeah so just with this you can improve the layout of course through mailchimp but i think but you'll need to upgrade the plan for another alternative, I'll show you a plugin which you can install called MailChimp for WordPress. So let's add that now. So plugins and add new. Just search MailChimp. Yeah, so this one here, MailChimp for WordPress. Okay, and then activate that. So with this one, you're able to create custom forms within WordPress. Okay, but first you'll need to connect your account with your API key. So let's get our API key. So you just click this link and then I'll redirect you to your MailChimp dashboard and then you'll just get your API key. Okay, so I'll just create an API key here. So you can do this. I'm currently on the free account, so you can still access an API key with, without paying for a subscription. Say website and generate key. Awesome. So copy that and paste your API key and save. Awesome, so now we're connected and then we can see our subscriber list here. And then we can go over here into form and then we can create a new form. Let's see. Homepage newsletter. Okay, and then you choose the list and then add new form. And then awesome, you're able to add links here. So we can again do first name. Okay, so you can add it to the form. And is it required? Yes, required. And you'll, you need to be somewhat HTML savvy as you need to create the form with code here. So if you're not comfortable with this, then I would suggest using our first method with doing it directly within MailChimp. Okay, so again, we have what we have here. So let me just switch out these labels here. So first name on top. Okay, and then remove this one here. Then you have your sign up button. Okay, and then we can go into our messages. So this is when someone signs up. These will be the notifications. Okay, and then our settings here, make sure these are set to your specifications. So double opt-in is good for being GDR compliant. So it just states that if someone signs up to your newsletter, they'll get a email from MailChimp verifying that they give consent to give their email as again, this could be subject to spam. Okay, and then appearances. So you can choose within their themes here. So let's just do basic. And then they also have a styles builder here. So let's check that. Yep, so with the styles builder, it's for the premium version. So you'll have to upgrade in order to have more styling but again if you're savvy with css then you can style this directly within the coding environment over here okay and then once you're done that we can save okay and then i'll just create a little header at the top here so i'll say mailchimp for wordpress plugin just so we can see both layouts okay and then save the changes and then what you want to do is copy the short code here and then we're going to paste it to where we want this newsletter sign up to appear so copy and then go to visit site and then edit site okay then so we have our html element here okay and then let me just make this centered so i'll just give it a style of margin auto okay so now i'm going to click into our html here and then i'll create a new short code widget so sorry short, short code and then they'll appear underneath and then we can paste our short code so it'll look like this okay and then save this awesome and then now we can view our front end and we see our form here is, is centered as well and awesome so our form is working so let me do under test so sean and then sean 
let's say MailChimp plugin. Then sign up. Great, so we got our confirmation and then I'll just have to go into my email here and then com confirm the subscription. Okay, so over here is the email and then you can click yes to subscribe. So that's the double opt-in. Okay, and then just subscribe. Okay, so this is good. And then go back into our contacts and refresh. And awesome, so now this email has been added to the list as well. So that's two methods on how to add a MailChimp sign-up form to your WordPress website. Again, I would recommend just embedding the form directly for MailChimp as it comes with predefined styles already. And it's easier to customize the form through the MailChimp dashboard. So this includes the end of the video on how to integrate MailChimp to your WordPress website. You can click the calendar link in the description to book a consultation with me. And if you're looking for help with your website, then you can check out my website, maplitmedia.ca. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with my content and thanks for watching.